हेलो एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे लेट अस लुक एट कैंसर लगना एंड द फिफ्थ भाव स्कॉर्पियो द फिफ्थ भाव ऑफ द कैंसर लगना फॉल्स इन स्कॉर्पियो व्हिच इज अ फिक्स्ड वॉटरी साइन एंड इज द एट साइन फ्रॉम द कालपुरशा नाउ दिस पॉइंट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर फॉर द कैंसर लगना the eighth sign which is representing the fifth bhava the eighth rashi sign scorpio it is the eighth rashi sign from the kala purusha scorpio which represents the fifth bhava for the cancer natives which is very important point to remember therefore the eighth which stands for randra or a simple translation for the word randra is a whole starting with a h uh, but loosely translated we could say changes losses in the bhavakara tatva for what the eighth rashi stands for right that has to be remembered that scorpio is the eighth sign from the kala purusha becomes the fifth fifth bhava or the fifth house from the uh, cancer for the cancer lagna therefore there will be some shortage in the kara tatva of the fifth bhava the fifth bhava has lots of karatatvas which you can go through in uh, what is called uttarakala amrita karatatvas of the bhavas but the most emotion uh, important ones are emotion education children happiness from marriage gambling etc etc we are focusing on education emotions and children now let us look at scorpio as the fifth bhava without any planetary influences on it scorpio is generally a very tight controlled bhava the the emotions are extraordinarily controlled because it is a fixed sign a fixed sign has a tight leash on the emotional control of the bhava yet it is a watery sign therefore there will be full of emotions and if provoked it will burst out with lot of enthusiasm and or anger and energy why we bring in the anger and energy scorpio is ruled by mars which is a short tempered planet thus a uh, emotional quantum for scorpio is a tight controlled emotional bhava and yet full of uh, emotions and when provoked will burst now let us look at the education quality of the scorpio that is cancer lagna the fifth bhava scorpio scorpio has has a great retention power scorpio has a great retention power they have a sponge like memory and can represent uh, reproduce at will thus the education pattern is generally very very strong for a cancer native along with that the education pattern is generally electricity or administration because both the kara tatvas are ruled by mars the lord of the fifth house the natural lord of the fifth house without any other planetary influence yet we can say 
if jupiter is associated with the fifth house the native might turn towards administration if sun is involved the native might turn towards electricity and so on and so forth children cancer natives are blessed with early children as the fifth house scorpio is a fruitful sign the fifth from scorpio the fifth house from fifth house that is from cancer the ninth house or the fifth house from scorpio itself is pisces and is a jupiterian rashi jupiter is the natural karaka for children when the jupiter rashi itself is the fifth from scorpio the native will definitely have children and mostly early children now let us look at rahu and ketu rahu in the fifth bhava scorpio is a spoiler as he is nicha will show changes in pattern of education will have deep emotional swings if unfortunately moon or mercury is involved the native may be depressed unless protected by jupiter jupiter's protection on the lagna the jupiter's protection on the fifth house eradicates nearly thousands of doshas or evil effects the native will generally and definitely have children though delayed ketu in the fifth bhava makes the native very strong because ketu is is in his own house therefore makes the native very strong is calm with his emotions very practical and will have children if jupiter's influence is there the native will be very spiritual now let us look at this chart no planet is posted in the fifth house no planet aspects the fifth house the fifth lord mars is in the 12th house no planet aspects mars mars exalts in the navamsha and is in the 7th rashi lag from the rashi lagna cancer now this is a very tricky chart to analyze so please go through it more than once as no planet is posted in the fifth house or aspects the fifth house we revert to the rashi qualities as explained earlier along with the placement of the fifth lord mars in this chart when we look at the emotions mars is posted mars is posted in mercury rashi and aspects the third house of courage the third house of courage is also aspected by sun mercury saturn thus the native will show his emotions loud and clear will be courageous and brave and positive will be the description of the native's emotions education the fifth lord mars is in the 12th thus the native will do his higher educations away from his parents this is reconfirmed with rahu posted in the 4th house which means to say that the native will be away from home or his parents himself may shift from the existing place of birth since there are no planets posted in the 5th house or aspecting the 5th house we will go to the 5th lord mars to look for our answers mars the 5th lord aspects the 3rd house of self effort and courage the 3rd lord 3rd house is also aspected by the 3rd lord mercury sun and saturn thus the fifth bhava results is to be seen from the placement of mars the education of the native will be a combination 
of Mercury, who happens to the f be the fifth, I mean, the Rashi Lord where Mars is posted. The education will also depend on Sun, Saturn, Mars because they are aspecting the third house. The native could go into electrical, electronic or any subject which deals with light, fire and um, light, fire and uh, intelligence. There is also a promise of a management degree or a second graduation degree for the native due to the sun and mercury's placement in the ninth house from the lagna which gives higher education. Please go through these points which I have mentioned again and again so that you will be able to understand this method. It is away from the regular planetary positions. Do remember the above points that I have mentioned is only possible when the native will have good dashas or dashas triggering 5th house and 9th house lagna, lagna lord, 5th house lord. Children, as we have already seen that the 5th house and the lords are not aspected by any favorable planet and no planet is in the 5th house and the 5th lord is posted in the 12th. The 12th lord Mercury is nature with malefic planet sun. Thus, we will have look at the chart from the 5th house itself that is from Scorpio itself and see if we can get a better answer. The 5th house from Scorpio is associated with Sun and Mercury. Mars the 5th Lord is posted in the 8th from Scorpio. Now we are looking at the chart from Scorpio to give us some indications. Jupiter the 5th Lord is posted in the 6th house in Rahu Ketu axis. Keep in mind that we are observing the entire chart from Scorpio. The Sun is the 5th Lord from the Karaka Jupiter. Sun is the fifth Lord from the Karaka Jupiter is posted in the twelfth house from Karaka Jupiter with Nicha Sun. Unless the Dasha Bhuktis are favorable, the native will have delayed children. I repeat, unless the Dasha Bhuktis are favorable, the native will have delayed children. Hope this chart has been really useful. Do go through them more than once to understand it better. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Signing off, Guy 3. Bye-bye.